Okay, so this video will be explaining how to use Erasma. Erasma is an augmented reality app which allows you to see and interact with the world in a new way. Uh, the term augmented reality might sound intimidating at first, but Erasma is an app that people of all ages can enjoy and we think that by using this medium to present our project, it will help people get out in these communities and really experience the things that we are going to be showing to everyone. Okay, so the first thing we need to do uh, is we need to set up your Erasma account. It's available on the iOS app store and the Android app store. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your app store of choice and just type in Erasma, A-U-R-A-S-M-A. -A. Then you'll click the download link, which is on the right hand side on the iOS app store. And just wait for it to download and go back to the home screen. Okay, so once it's finished downloading, just open up the app and you'll see the create account button at the bottom. You wanna click that, type in your email address. Uh, then your username and then the password. Then you'll wanna click done right after that. Okay, so now that you've signed in and you've created the account, now this is the home screen. And uh, if you want to view your account or your profile, you click the top left corner. Uh, this is this tab is My Auras. You don't have any yet. And then following, you can follow different accounts or people that are posting. And then settings, if you ever need to change your password or change your email address. And then click Done to go back to the home screen. So when you're creating your own aura, you're going to need to make some content. In this case, uh, our demonstrator Lee is going to be making a vlog style video about this talk radio poster. Once you're satisfied with the video you've made, just close out of that and then open up the Erasma app. Okay, so when you create your own um, trigger image and aura, you need to click the plus sign in the top right hand corner of the home screen. And to get the best trigger image, you need to make sure the white indicator dot is in the right hand side of the meter which is the green it lets you know that the image is going to be good so then you'll click devices upload go to your camera roll and then select the content or video you created for the aura and you can name it it's optional but for this uh, video he's going to name it tr for talk radio and then click done Okay, so this is just the preview showing that it's registered, the trigger image and the aura is working properly. And then you'll just wanna click next to finalize it. Okay, so this is probably the most important how-to section since this is how most of the audience will be viewing the videos that we've made for this project. Okay, so to view an aura, first you need to find the trigger image that we've uh, created for our video. So here it's showing Lee just walking down the hallway and then he sees the talk radio poster which contains that aura that he created earlier. So he's gonna open up the app and then you're gonna wanna click the square, the purple square at the bottom of the home screen. Now this uh, opens up a page where it shows the indicator dots. They're searching for, uh, for the trigger image. And this can be tricky at first. You have to experiment with the angle and the lighting so it might take a minute, but eventually you'll get it. Okay, so once the indicator dots lock onto the trigger image or the aura, then the video will come up and it'll start playing. You can move your phone around and it just helps you interact with the actual object that you're pointing your phone at. 